Welcome back. It is weather week here at News 8. Our area is no stranger to flash flooding. 2017 saw brutal storms and flooding, as many of you remember. Stacey Pengen here to tell us how that happens and what, if anything, we can do about it. Stacey. Well, 2017 was all about the lakeshore flooding. Flash flooding is a different beast in itself. You might remember this. This was 2014. This was Penyan. I know it's dark video because this occurred at night, and we had flash flooding in Penyan that did a lot of damage. This is water rushing right over the uh, main street there, and a lot of people certainly remembering that. So we do get flash flooding, and we usually get flash flooding relatively often, just not to that extent. Take a look at some statistics here on flash flooding. So some flood safety. Flash flooding occurs very, very quickly. There's a difference between aerial flooding, which is a slow rise in the water. Flash flooding comes on very, very quickly, and a lot of it is dictated by the topography and by the terrain of where you are. So flash flooding happens very quickly. Do not attempt to drive through a flooded road. I know it's tempting. I know you just want to get where you're going, but you don't know how deep that water is. And keep this in mind, one foot of water could float an entire vehicle. Two feet of rushing water can actually uh, carry a vehicle away, including an SUV. Just two feet of water, so don't drive through it, especially if it is moving water. Now, also, this should be a no-brainer, but a lot of people do it anyway. Don't drive through a barricade. They're there for a reason. Just don't do it. Turn around, don't drown is one of those phrases that is out there a lot. But again, it is there for a reason. All right, here we go again. If you have any weather questions, you can post on our Facebook or Twitter page. We'll be choosing a few of those questions to answer right here on News 8 at 6.